my name is Nigel Smalls from infraredaustralia.com.au and I'm here to show you how to put the grill on the front of a Heliosa 44 shortwave infrared heater. The Heliosa 44, it comes in a box, picture box with strap attached. Obviously, first thing you do is undo that strap, remove it, and you need to get it out of its box. top of the box, as you can see, there comes its own grill, and that grill is something which is, in many countries, not mandatory, it's not mandatory here, but we feel that to protect the heater and um, yourself, it should be put in, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Up in, up in the box, carefully raise it. And the instructions aside, and then brackets. We then need to remove it from the bag. Put the bag underneath it to protect protect it. Now, unlike the 66 and the 11, the 44 has the mounting points at the top and at the bottom and it's actually a little bit harder to put this one together than the others so there is a technique and it's all to do with the fact that this is a flexible piece so you place it into the first two holes by pulling down on the center bits which uh, on the center bits which pull these pieces slightly in and that allows you to fit into the hole Go the other way, and again you have to do the same thing. It's as simple as it is. It's in. But the, the key thing is to remember that you need to pull down, and that brings the pieces that stick in to the hole together. If you don't do that, then it seems that the grill won't fit into place. Once it's in place, and with those gripped on the side of the hole, it won't move easily. So that's how you install the grill on the front of a Helios 44 shortwave infrared heater. For more information, go to infraredheating.com.au or infraredaustralia.com.au